In previous videos, we have talked about different components of a database that we have tables, queries, then we have forms and reports. In this session, I'm going to particularly focus on forms. Forms are very similar to the function of input in a computer. And forms are utilized to primarily enter and view records in a database. So your assistant in your office would actually be utilizing the forms for looking up records and modifying content of those records and also entering new ones. It's not recommended that the data be entered directly into the tables. It's usually done through the forms. So the question is, how do we create a form? So the forms can be created either based on a table, and you can have more than one form per table or multiple tables, and you can customize those forms as long as the tables are linked together as well, if you are utilizing data from multiple tables. So let's create a form here for just the customers first. To do that, we can utilize the form wizard. So we click on form wizard. And then let's say under customers, we want customer ID, company, first name, last name, and basically all the fields. The reason why you might want all of them is because you might want to update all the information about a particular customer. However, if you don't want your assistant to modify certain fields, then you can create a form with just the field to modify. So now we click on next and then we click on next again and then just give it a name. Then we click on finish and this is the form at this point. Notice you can move from customer to customer. By the way, let's close it first. And here it is, customer simple. So that's the current form. You can navigate from customer to customer. You can also filter or search by a specific name. So let's say I click on first name here and I type Sally. Now this will pull up the record for this specific name. And you can create new records by clicking on this last icon here. You can make certain fields required in a form or in a database or table. But for now, we are not going to mess with them because we are just learning basic concepts. So now once that has been entered, if we go back here on customer 42, that has been updated. That record has been updated. Now, how do we make this form a little bit nicer? So what you can do here is that you can click on the Home tab. And under the Home tab, you can click on View. And then you can change it to the layout view. The layout view allows you to modify those specific fields and basically format that form to what you may like or what you may want. There are also predefined themes that you can pick and choose here and it will change the color theme. You can change the fonts and other components as well. And you can also add new fields. However, it is not recommended that you add new fields directly from the form. The design needs to happen usually in the tables. That's why when you're designing a database, you would think and uh, look at all the different angles as to how your table is going to be designed, what fields are needing to be included and so on, because it makes it so much simpler to create the forms, to create the queries, uh, after you have a good structural design of your tables. And of course, you can resize those fields if you need it to. As far as the formatting, you can change the formatting here. You can add a logo. You can change the title of it, change it to this customer simple, change it to something else and, and so on. So it can be uh, modified quite a bit. You can also move those fields around so that you make the form look as nice as you want it. So it's a matter of drag and drop here. There is also the design view here. If you click on the drop down and choose design view, that is where you can kind of tinker more and adjust those fields more precisely in different lo new locations and so on. And notice you can drag the whole data here. So if I go ahead and close this, save it, then open it up again, notice it has been adjusted. Of course, it doesn't look great at this point, but you can modify it so that it looks better than this. Again, the trick here is going under Home, choosing View, and then going between those different views. 
Now this is a simple form. This is just for one table. Now if the tables are linked, just like in queries, you can also create a compound form. So the form here, what you utilize is you'd again choose the wizard for the forms. So let's say we want the customers. We want customer ID, customer company, first name, last name, telephone, state address, and so on. Then we want, let's say, the contracts table. We want, let's say, the amount, actually the date and type. If you remember, when we linked the tables together, those tables had a one-to-many relationship. That means that one customer with multiple contracts. So in this case, what, when we click on next here, notice that we can arrange this by customer. So let's say you have Hubert Sims, and then he would have all his contracts under him and not the other way around, even though you can modify it to look like that. But the design of the table is so that you have one customer with multiple contracts or one student with multiple courses that they have taken. So we'll click on next here. So basically it's going to look something like this customer and the amounts and contact amount here we click on next next again and then we give it a name and then click on finish at this point notice we have the customers their email address and so on and then right below we also have the contacts for that specific customer so if we switch from one customer to the other notice it's going to change their contracts or it's going to list the contracts that those specific customers have so now you could either add a new customer or you could just add a new contact for this specific customer for example for a mall or however you say the name here you would add a new contract let's say seventy thousand. so one thing to remember here when you're dealing with these designs of the new forms and so on is to make sure you close the form at one point and then reopen it so it saves the design before you go and add any new contacts. This is one of the things that will probably confuse you if you forget to, re to remember to do that part of it. So now let's say, for example, for a mall here, we want to add a new contact. So the contact, let's say it would be the contact number 4543. And that's the customer number. So the customer number is basically going to match the customer number up here 11014 so that's why it's pre-populating it and then let's say we don't add a new contract at uh, seven thousand dollars and then you can put the date in there and then what type of uh, contract it is and then move on to the next customer basically so this has been registered at this point and it's all good to go. So that's how you'd use the forms to add. So it's basically the idea here is that you use the forms to add data, retrieve data from different customers and update their records. And at this point, if you were to go back to those queries that we discussed earlier, you would be able to see those contracts reflected. So for example, customers with contracts, if you were to search for a mall, Notice there is a 7,000 and landscaping that we created earlier. So that's forms. We'll have reports in the next session.